contest is a technical match, which means there are no pinfalls. The only way to win is submission or referee stoppage. And you can only exit the ring two times. The third time you exit, you will be disqualified. Introducing first, from Catch is Catch, Kansas State University, weighing in at 202 pounds, Killian McMurphy. And it is main event time here this week at Fight Pro Wrestling, the returning Killian McMurphy, the shooter himself. And his opponent from Bangor, Maine, weighing in at 210 pounds, Sean Blaze! And Sean Blaze as well making his return here. Two guys, each with a ton of potential. Two guys that I know that I see a lot in, I think you see a lot in, that fight management sees a lot in, who have each have one match apiece in fight, neither one of them yet to come out the victor. So this is a real opportunity for both these guys in a main event spot to showcase themselves in a technical division match and sort of see who's gonna get momentum here in fight. Technical division match here means this is submission only or referee stoppage. There's no pinfall. There is no disqualification, but you can be ringed out if you leave the ring, both feet touching the floor three times. So you really do have to pay attention to what's going on around you, and you have to try to stay within the confines of the ring itself. I know you're a big Sean Blaze guy, but I got to tell you, my man Eel O'Neal is a huge fan of Killian McMurphy. He has said that this guy is the future, and I have learned not to bet against Eel O'Neal because if there's one thing that man knows, it's things, and one thing he knows is talent, and that is what Killian McMurphy is. Killian McMurphy and Sean Blaze both impressed very well here that Fight Management has decided to uh, ask them to come back. So as you mentioned earlier, this is a huge opportunity for both of them being put into the main event spot here. Yeah, one of these guys is going to go home with a, a huge victory and a, a victory in the technical division specifically. One of these guys is going to go home with two losses. Neither one of them wants to be that guy. Just like I don't want to be you. Nice bridge by Killian McMurphy, not letting himself go to the ground. McMurphy known as the Irish shooter, the shamrock shooter himself, Killian McMurphy. So he makes a great choice for a technical division match. I don't really know much about Sean Blaze's uh, submission game. Not something he's not, uh, not something he's known for necessarily. So I wonder what strategy he's going to take in this match. Sean Blaze is a very versatile wrestler, but if you did have to break it down, I would say he's more of a brawler style. So he may be a little bit out of his element here. Uh, with that said though, he has been around the block for quite some time, obviously knows some submission holds, so it's just a matter of being able to try to outdo someone who is a submission style wrestler. Colorado tie up and the Shamrock shooter gets Sean Blaze right in that corner going for an Irish whip. Up and over and hits him with that arm drag. Sean Blaze just mocking Killian there, hitting him with that drop kick. Killian, Killian considering going out for that ring out, wants to, uh, wants to get some space and some distance, but wherewithal not oh. to step out of the ring until, oh, until he forgot about it, take advantage. That's one ring out. Fight title shots are hard to get. You have to prove yourself in a lot of ways. You've seen the stakes at which people have gotten it. Bobby Shields got a title shot by literally putting up any opportunity to get another shot of the title at all. 
in case he lost. But one good way to impress fight management is to either win a match in all three of our separate divisions, our hybrid division, our technical division, and our grappler division, or to basically become the king of a specific division, to go undefeated in one specific arena for a long period of time. Either way, a win for either of these two guys is a phenomenal first step towards building a case for title contention here in fight. And killing with that key lock there. And you can see uh, Sean Blaze trying to get to the rope. Killian turning it into an attempted armbar submission. Able to reach his legs over there and forces the break. I appreciate that about Killian though. He did not just get off. He used that opportunity to get another strike in on Sean's shoulder. He's not going to waste a single moment. He's got a prone opponent in front of him and he is going to break him down piece by piece until he's nothing but component parts. And now the disrespect of just walking across his face. Killian with the uh, the confidence here. Who's Killian remind you of a little bit? Killian. Okay. Killian reminds me of Killian. Well, that's unhelpful. That's the word I'll use. That is, that's, of course he reminds you of Killian. He is the person. That's not the concept of reminding or memory. I, I think he has some degree of, uh, 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 of, I don't know, I see a little bit of Tanner in him. Young, cocky guy, s strong ability. Uh, I honestly, I'm going to say that I think Killian's probably a stronger technical wrestler, though Tanner's a more ruthless competitor. Uh, and I think as the master of the metagame has proved he's willing to cut any corner in order to achieve victory. Still getting a chance to get to know Sean Blaze. He's got a lot of stamina. He's got a lot of fortitude. I really appreciate the fact that this guy does not give up. That arm has definitely been causing him a lot of problems. Killian's been working it over this entire time. As you can see, he's kind of cradling it to his side, and Killian forcing that arm into the middle turnbuckle at full speed. Great strategy from the shooter. Appreciate how much fight means to Sean. He comes a fairly far away when we've got our events here in Rockville for competition, driving uh, close to halfway across the country in order to be here. Just uh, really appreciate guys and girls who decide that fight is a place that they want to ply their trade and make a name and are willing to travel from all across the United States in order to do so, as they should. We are the foremost destination for combat entertainment. Booyah! Shooter! Oh, out of the ring! Oh, man! And Sean Blaze throwing out Killian McMurphy. That is his second ring out. If he get Sean is able to get one more ring out, he can win this match. As we put it, In my pastime of Magic the Gathering, win condition enabled. If Sean Blaze gets Killian McMurphy over that Looks top like rope. He's going for oh, it. he's going for it. Dumps him out. Killian still on the apron. Both feet have to touch the floor, and Killian fighting his way back in there. Still on that apron, though. He's processing his impending sudden potential death and decides not to. Today, today, you receive an elbow. Lining him up. Taking too much time. And Sean Blaze was going to try to dump him out again, but that arm gave out. Killian going in. And that's it right there. Sean Blaze tapping out to Killian McMurphy. Look at the torque he put on that neck before he was even able to get him down in that grapevine. Sean Blaze, just from the moment he locked in that crossface, he was out. And Killian McMurphy establishes a dominant victory in the technician division. Look at that handsome smile. That is the face of a shooter. And that's all the time we have this week. Thanks again for being here with us, and we will catch you next time.
Ladies and gentlemen, 